Well, it's important for young leaders to have, or aspiring leaders, to have role models, someone that they can look up to, yeah. uh, that it helps to, to formulate their own ideas of how they can achieve great things. Were there other role models in your life out of Korea, leaders in Korea or in other nations? One person whom I admire most uh, is President Nelson Mandela. As a Secretary General, I met him uh, after he had retired from yes. his public service. Of course, you know, I express my deepest admiration and as a Secretary General and also as a person uh, for what he did, fighting against apartheid and trying to uh, reconstruct the, their country, South Africa. I was uh, struck and inspired, much more inspired. I was struck when he said that, well, I thank you for your compliment, but it was not me. There were hundreds and thousands of people who worked toward that goal. He was very humble. That I learned, mm. such a humility yeah. and a sense of uh, respect for others who had been working with him, who have not been much recognized as much as uh, Nelson Mandela, but he was uh, paying tribute to uh, many unknown people. That's what I think a leader or leaders of the world mm. uh, should learn. Mm. On August 29th, 1962, we were invited by then President John F. Kennedy to a Rose Garden reception at the White House. It was uh, most inspiring. I still vividly remember what he told us. He said that, that during this Cold War era, the world leaders were not getting along well. But you young people, you don't have any such a problem. You, you can also contribute to, uh, to the world peace. Mm -hmm. He said that at this time, the national boundaries were not much meaningful. Uh, but the question is whether you are ready to extend your helping hands to other people. Those words just still uh, living on me and on many other uh, people around the world. He, he showed his uh, compassionate leadership. Mm -hmm. He was the most popular uh, leader in the world, not to mention in the United States. While he was young, but he was giving very inspiring message to uh, young people for public service and for compassionate uh, leadership right. for other people. Nelson Mandela, at a critical moment, when he was being offered a chance to, for freedom, uh, and he turned it down several times until he got full freedom for his people. But he also famously, at one point, said a leader has to help people understand. Yes. It's more than following. You have to listen, but you also sometimes have to make a decision about what's best for the people. They may not like that. You have to convince, persuade them. There are uh, many uh, requirements or traits or some essential points mm -hmm. a leader should have. Of course, you, know, you have to be very humble and accessible mm -hmm. uh, to the people. At the same time, a leader should be able to inspire and motivate the people. It's not that you always ask people to do. Right. It's a top-down approach. Right. Right. But this top-down approach sometimes works effectively yeah. in some uh, small uh, countries. Uh, but when the, we are living in a very diversified uh, societies, top-down should always be supported from bottom-up. When top down and bottom up uh, meets together, then that's the most uh, ideal uh, way of leadership. Therefore, leaders should always try to uh, motivate people to do mm -hmm. on their own rather than being told. Right. If these uh, creative ideas come uh, from uh, the people, that's the uh, most uh, you know, uh, appreciative one. Mm -hmm. But often, we have seen many leaders uh, who have been showing some a different way. You came here as a student uh, to Cambridge uh, as a Mason Fellow. Yes, class 84. So I started from 83 and graduated 84. 
And then so after my your... graduation, I joined the Center for International Relations as a fellow. It was interesting how the classes affected you, how professors affected you, but I heard you talk about the importance of studying uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis mm -hmm. and, and what you learned here at the Kennedy School. Yeah, one good uh, exciting and very valuable experience was that uh, I participated in a mock White House National Security Council meeting, NSC War, uh, meeting. Sort of war game, in effect. Yes, uh, I was given a role of uh, Vice President of the United States. Uh -huh. I wanted to play a role of the President of the United States, but <laughs> at that time, Vice President was uh, George Herbert Bush. Mm -hmm. We talk about all international crisis, and we were given to a summit in just a two pages, within two pages, the critical points, what the President of the United States should do. I still remember how exciting, how valuable it was. The national leader or global leader, when the facing national uh, crisis, the decision should be based on very strategic uh, decision. Of course, you know, there should be uh, discussions among the senior advisors rather than based on uh, bombastic uh, political rhetorics. Mm -hmm. Political rhetorics are sometimes uh, matters uh, for mobilizing uh, domestic uh, influence but when it comes to real uh, chips are down, then you have to be very serious and focused to strategy. Focus the strategy. That is the way to save your country. And that's the way uh, President Kennedy was able to uh, save whole international community, not to mention American citizens, from the, on, on the brink of uh, nuclear annihilation yeah. Right. yeah so it was the study of decision making the study of leadership uh, that helped you develop your own sense of what leadership is yes. about well, how to make decisions mm -hmm. yes. the, that study the time in the classroom the readings and have you continued to read uh, history and and biography uh, in the years since yes uh, reading biographies memoirs of uh, world leaders, that gives a lot of inspiration and sources of knowledge, mm -hmm. knowledge and wisdom. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to uh, many students. Knowledge which you, you learn from the schools may be valuable, but how to use this knowledge to, uh, to pra practical, uh, real situation, you need the wisdom, wisdom. This wisdom comes from an accumulated uh, experience over a period. It may not come over a night, but when you really try to learn the lessons from uh, many world leaders, uh, then you can, you can digest and make it your own and try to apply it to uh, local or certain uh, situations. I think you have to have a comprehensive review of the situation. One lesson, one knowledge may not uh, work all the times the same way, mm -hmm. so it requires a wisdom, wisdom, yeah. It's wonderful to be in your presence. It's wonderful to talk to you. We, we uh, thank you for coming back to the Kennedy School, and we thank you for uh, engaging in a conversation which our students of future years uh, can enjoy. Thank yes, you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Secretary um, General. It's been a great pleasure to uh, share my thoughts about the leadership and uh, I hope that I'll be able continuously to engage with the Harvard community. We will learn from future. you, sir. Thank, yeah, thank you, you very, very much. Thank you. All right.